check out for the nearest races, marathons on the weekend. I'll do it on Saturday. You want to do it? Yeah. You want to do a race straight away? I want to run a marathon with no training. I don't. I think that it's one hundred percent possible to run a marathon on no training. Yeah. Because what I'm doing now is like what twenty minute runs on the treadmill. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> And now I think I can run a marathon on Saturday. Let's do it tomorrow. Huh? Let's do it tomorrow. What, me run a marathon tomorrow? <laughs> In the rain? Okay. And it's pretty dangerous to just run out here in the city. Um, but if you find a running track nearby, I could just run around the track until I'm about to die. That's the preparation, that's it. Seems good. All right. So Battersea and open at seven. Just come at seven. What's about to see running pat track. Just got some bars. Let's see what these little vegan legs can do. Here we are. That track is my enemy today. <laughs> good. Looks good. I like the colour. Yeah. It's the colour of victory. <laughs> <It's tough. laughs> I feel like Carl Lewis when he won his Olympic medal as a vegan. And I had all of my personal bests after 30 years old with a new vegan and vegetarian diet. Not many people know that, eh? No, not many. The fastest man in the world was a vegan. No, I'm just gonna stretch and start running. Beet juice, top secret weapon. I am literally the only person on this running track because it's raining. I'm glad it's raining. Just how I like it. Wet and shit. I think that's all I need. Put this on my shoulder and start running. Yeah. That's right. Lap number one. 99 more to go. <laughs> About 10 k's, 10 k's in. Nearly a quarter of the way there. Just hit the halfway mark. 21 kilometers in. Um, it's been about two hours and 10 minutes. My legs are fucking so sore. <laughs> My knees are starting to hurt. But I reckon like this part here, the last half, this is where the challenge starts. First half, like, I don't know. Like that's the easy part. It's now that I'm in a bit of pain and my um, amateur running training <laughs> non-existent running training is starting to show but see how we go i'm going to break this up into blocks so i've got two more 10k runs to do got david goggins on the earphones come on david give me that spark <laughs>
my legs. <laughs> my legs are starting to give up, eh? Keep going. Well done. Hey. Starting to hurt. Very good. Of course. You're doing good, man. Legs are feeling it. Let's go, man. Nearly 30 k's in. Got 12 k's to go. Every k's feels heaps harder now. I know it's gonna hold on for another hour or so. Yeah. Hour and a half. Fuck him in the pain, eh? Oh, I'm in the hurt house. Hello. Oh. oh, my legs and my knees and my muscles are giving up. Oh. Save me, beet juice. Each kilometre is like a, yeah. each lap is really like a challenge. Yeah. Just gotta hold on. Let's go, man. Come on. Oh, Let's go, man. I can't run anymore. My knees fucked. Yeah. I'm gonna just keep. I'm gonna just keep finish till I finish. How much do you have left? About eight k's. Okay. I can't land yeah. on my knee anymore, it's fuck. It's I got hit by a car on this knee. Shit. So it always goes first. Yeah. Who cares? It's still oh. I'm not stopping till it's finished. <laughs> when you're hurting, every minute feels like 10 minutes. Yeah. It's like relativity. Sharp pain. Yeah. Down my knee. I can see it, yeah. Mm. I love it. <laughs> I'm not stopping until it's done. Good. I'd rather complete it walking than give up because of my legs are sore. I think it's about 15 more laps. You know, if I, I probably could. Uh, oh. Hardest walk I've ever done in my entire life. I've got three more kilometers. This is the hundredth lap. Wow. <laughs> 100 laps of this oval. Oh my god. Two more. Two more. My knees. I feel like giving up about 10 k's ago. Doing about a 10 minute okay pace. Banging down on your knees when you have no, no running bases. You can only do it for so long. Now I know how people feel at the end of a marathon. My back here. Oh. 
We've got 400 meters to go. Oh, no, I can't. My leg won't support my weight. My knee won't support my weight. I was about to just give way. Oh. Come on. I've got 100 meters to go. It's the most painful walk I've ever done. It's been five hours and 20 minutes. Oh, definitely challenged myself today. Oh God, 42 Ks, done. There we go. 42 kilometers in five hours, 22. I'm not a runner, I'm an, actually an animal rights activist. <laughs> Decided to come out here and see what I could put my body through. And I literally ran till I could not. My body, my, my body wouldn't let me run anymore. My mind wanted to, but this knee here it feels like it's gonna break. Like it's just gonna break away. This scar here. This is where I got hit by a car. So that was swollen. I didn't couldn't walk for a week. But it's always this knee that um causes problems. It doesn't matter to me like that I couldn't run the whole thing. It matters that I completed the completed it when I wanted to stop. Oh. I don't know if I can get up for do that. Really? Feels like it's been hit with bats, eh? Oh, and it's a really sharp pain down here. Well, I should have ran out of, I should have died of protein deficiency halfway through the first five kilometers, but didn't seem to. <laughs> Obviously, I'm only capable of what doing what my body's been trained to do. I ran for 33 kilometers. That's decent, dude. Mm -hmm. And then when my legs gave up, still walked for the rest, you know? Like I walked at a decent pace, but my late knees just couldn't. I could. I literally could. My if I if I tried to run, I would have. My knee would have just just gone. I felt it. It just was about to. Just the tendon and stuff. It was getting really. I was getting a little bit worried about it, eh? Because mm -hmm. my mind was gonna push past it. No, I would have collapsed, eh? You good? No, I feel I like, like, I feel like someone you, bashed me with bats on my legs. I know, they're, they're really bad. Mm -hmm. Let's have a little square of Vigo bar just to celebrate the best vegan chocolate you can possibly get at Vigo bar. Have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. Lord have mercy. With running, um, you build up strength in your joints and tendons and you know, you become conditioned to it just like anything. Yeah. If you go out and try to do some run for four hours straight with no running training, you, but your joints and your tendons and stuff just aren't gonna be able to cope with it. Like well, after a certain amount of time, you know, they're just gonna be like, well, we're not used to this, what are you doing? Yeah, but you, even like on no running training, my fitness is still pretty good. Like, how have, my, how have I maintained, you know, still being able to run a half marathon in a couple of hours? Like, yeah. you know, just on no running training. Mm -hmm. How have I been able to do that? <laughs> Haven't ran for years. Yeah. Check my Strava. Yeah. Like, I don't run no. anymore. 
been doing activism, you know, I do weights here and there, where weights is just... Weights doesn't really help you with this? No, no. Predominantly whole foods are vegan, you know? Fruit and... Well, you see what I eat, like lots of oats. Yeah. So many oats. <laughs> you know, to lots of tofu and... These people that say whatever they say about the vegan diet, they just... It's just ridiculous. So I'm, I'm get heading into, you know, nearly heading into a decade vegan soon, like in three years. Yeah. I'll be a 10 year f vegan soon. And then what are you going to say? Yeah. I'm probably in better shape than most people who... Say that. You know, talk trash anyway. And whatever you say, I want someone who... If, if you're going to criticise me, get out there on the track with no running training and run a marathon in the rain. Go on. Alright, let's go get some food, eh? Like, and pack up. Yep. I've said what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did what you I've had to do. I've done what I had to do. <laughs> and you know what? I was like, my knees are going to give up in a sec. But I'm not going to stop. So I was like, I'll drag my... I'll drag my dangling leg along this track until I kick over to, to 42 kilometers. Good to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up off this chair. Oh my god. Oh. How does that feel? Oh, my whole back. I uh, should be right by tomorrow. You know, you recover so quickly. I'll eat clean, whole food carbohydrates, lots of fruits. Be recovered in a couple of days. Lots of greens for nitrates, lots of antioxidant rich foods to prevent oxidization, oxidative stress. When you um, exercise for long periods of time, it creates inflammation. So when you eat high antioxidant rich plant foods, it helps mitigate that inflammation real quick because they're antioxidants, aren't they? And what's oxidization is when you rust. And you literally rust, get old and, you know, inflamed. But that's why you got to eat lots of, you know, blueberries and greens and colourful plant foods full of antioxidants that helps with recovery. And the last thing you want to stick down your throat is cheese and fried steak and burnt bacon gristle. That ain't going to help you. Anyways, let me try to limp off. Sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is kind of dangerous, eh, dude? Yeah, that's why I said I should be uh, walking in front of you. Once I'm down here, I don't think I'll be able to get back out for a couple of days, eh? Because <laughs> <laughs> this is really hard. Oh my god. And these stairs are pretty, they have a good angle, eh? It hurts more than doing like leg day five times in a row. <laughs> what is that? Is that, is that blood? Yeah. What from? Oh no. You must have like one. What did I do? Oh, it's from your nail. What started bleeding exactly? I'm guessing it's just the blister popped or something? Mm -hmm. Animal based dressings or ingredients. I've got in here baked sweet potatoes, chips, brown rice, steamed broccoli, steamed greens, and vegan chickpea, bean, and seaweed cake. I'm eating healthy. Oh, looks really juicy. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. This looks like um, some greens. And uh, this looks like uh, some broccoli sweet potato chips and a little patty. I'll wrap that up in a little wrap and that should be delicious.
Alright, uh, so this is me the next day after that marathon. Uh, I slept for a very long time, went to bed really early. I was absolutely exhausted yesterday. I couldn't walk down the stairs yesterday. This knee was absolutely destroyed. Um, and my back here, and just like these sides here, like my legs just were not conditioned for that at all, eh? But today, like my legs feel 50% better. I can walk around now, like I. I don't know whether that's because I ate super healthy, I ate lots of greens and, you know, good carbohydrates yesterday before falling asleep, but I feel pretty good today, I feel pretty good. So there you go, like, <laughs> tried my best running a marathon on no training, no running training anyway, and uh, that's how it turned out. Pretty proud, pretty proud, 30 k's before my legs sort of gave up, but... I think like if I, my legs were conditioned, I could I could just keep going. So that's the power of the uh, the old mind. Don't let yourself give up. And I, I think the diet is really good for recovery and uh, you know getting rid of that inflammation afterwards. Because I just feel really recovered. What I'm going to do now is go to the gym, do a chest workout, just for my mind, just to get myself like back into that daily routine. I don't want today to be like just a, a day where I feel sorry for myself. Get the healthy stuff in, get some uh, fruits in, berries, go smash out a chest workout. Let's do it. <laughs>